Hello guys, in today's video we will have a famous trafficator switch that you requested. This particular switch is used a lot on scooters, electric bikes and motorbikes. I personally use it very often. I have done many installations to my clients and on my personal projects. It is highly recommended by me because of good build quality, it is practical and waterproof which is most important. The only issue I see from my viewers is that there is some difficulties on connections because many sellers simply do not provide any wiring diagram of the product. Also note that the wire colors of each function are not always the same with the other same looking product. So no matter how difficult it may seem, I will show you how to find every function of the switch and how to connect it properly without any wiring diagram at all. For experimental purposes I will connect an electric bicycle front light which works with high voltage input and it has a built in horn. As usual the specific light with built in horn has three wires. One is the black which is a common ground wire and the other red and green are the horn and the headlight. Also we will have two pieces 12 volts indicator lights with built in flasher. And because our indicators are 12 volts and our system will be high voltage more than 36 volts, we will need also DC to DC step down converter. This particular converter works from 24 volts to 72 volts to get 12 volts at the output. Now I will supply power to the positive and negative wires of the switch, which power the LED feedback lights of the left and right buttons. Note that the specific turn signal light switch does not have built in flasher, they are just dry contact. Now to find each contact we need a multimeter, which must be set to continuity mode. After that we must try all wire combination with the remaining cables until the pair of each switch is found. As you can see the green and blue wire are the outputs of the left and right switches with a common input the red positive wire of the device so that as soon as the switch is pressed the voltage passes to the turn light and feedback button led at the same time.
The wires we just found are for the horn, brown and orange wires, which is a dry contact switch. And our last pair are white and yellow wires, which is the headlight button. Now it is time to connect our wire pairs. For those who prefer to see the wiring diagram, they can find it on my Patreon profile. I will have a link in the descriptions. The first wires I will solder will be the horn wires, which is a brown and orange. The next connections I will make are the headlights, which is white and yellow. Note that our headlights wires must be connected correctly, with the yellow wire going to the power supply and white output to the light. I say this because in case you connect it backwards, the white to the power supply, you will see the blue LED light of the headlight button always on. So if this happens to you, know that you just have to reverse the wires. And last connections will be our 12 volt turn lights.
that's it for today guys and see you in the next video